Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips here. Just got out of seeing the new M. Night Shyamalan film, uh, After Earth. It's kind of interesting, you know, with all the promotions and things like this for the movie. You know, his name, M. Night Shyamalan's name wasn't even put on the poster. Or it was real kind of small and kind of hidden away from people. Because I know, like, his last couple of movies, people have really disliked. You know, he really made, in my opinion, four really strong movies. Which was, like, The Sixth Sense, uh, Unbreakable, Signs. And I really liked The Village. I know people didn't love The Village. I never exactly saw what the problem was with it. I always thought it was a very interesting movie. I always liked those kind of period movies. I know the movie, though, when it was coming out, people were kind of making it their mission to review, like reveal and ruin the twist of it. I remember when all that was going on, that people were kind of like trying as hard as they can to ruin it so people wouldn't go to it because they, you know, they know, were kind of mad about him with the twist. You know, this movie, though, it's done horrible. It hasn't hardly made any money. It's got terrible ratings on Rotten Tomatoes. I, I, in all seriousness, though, you know, looking at this movie, I don't see exactly what's the matter with it. You know, to me, you know, when it was over, everyone got up and said, that was horrible, that sucked. You know, I'm sitting there thinking, there's nothing the matter with this. What, what, I mean, I, you know, I admit that I like a lot of not bad, not perfect movies, but I was not seeing anything that was standing out to me with this that was like, this is awful, this is terrible. And there's been movies like that that I have seen that come across like that there's everything wrong with it, nothing is interesting. And I know Will Smith's character pretty much was in the ship while his son went out and you know tried to find the beacon. But I guess that was a thing people didn't like. I guess they didn't like that they gave them these kind of weird accents. Kind of like with Cloud Atlas during the one segment, they kind of had this kind of weird inflection to their voice. Maybe people were kind of annoyed by that. But the movie was about Will Smith and his son, and Will Smith is basically someone who has no fear, and everyone, you know, had to leave Earth because of disasters and things like that, move to a new planet, and, um, you know, Will Smith is someone who kind of kills aliens and can kind of kill these certain type of aliens because he has no fear, and the aliens sense fear. So, you know, his son is kind of distanced from his father because of something that happened earlier in his life, and the father really isn't giving him too much of attention, and he ends up bringing his son along on this mission that he's going on. The ship ends up running into an accident asteroid field and ends up crashing on Earth, which was, you know, quarantined, and the mission is, you know, since his father is in a bad way and can't, you know, gets injured, he has to send his son out to try and send the beacon back to get help, and it's his father kind of guiding him and all the kind of problems that happen along the way, and yeah, I know there was some CGI like three or four instances of serious CGI animals and things like that. The thing is, though, when it comes to CGI now, the way they do it, they kind of do stuff that they wouldn't even be able to do if it wasn't CGI. So it it's overlookable, and it's not something that I'm going to be like, I'm not going to watch it because of that. But I really don't see the problem with it. I thought the music was really good. I thought Jaden, Jaden Smith did a really... I thought he did a good job. You know, I know Will Smith was in that thing the whole time talking to him, and that is probably what things that people really dislike liked about it, and but I couldn't see anything about it that was horrible. I mean, out of stars, to me, I know people would think I'm ridiculous, I would say at least four stars. I didn't see anything wrong with it, but I know everyone thinks it sucks, uh, but I, I don't know. I just can't find what's wrong with it. Maybe I was in a you know, a mood for a movie like this, one of these kind of movies with people out there, you know, when it's just them trying to find things. I always like those kind of like last man on earth kind of empty world kind of things. I like that kind of stuff, but maybe I was just in a generous mood today. Maybe I was just in the mood for this kind of movie. Maybe I feel bad for M. Night Shyamalan getting so much negativity all the time. But to me, nothing stood out to me that was like, this is awful, don't see it. And people in the theater leaving going, oh, he's on a roll of making bad movies. I don't know, just to me... I liked it. So anyway, though, look forward to hearing what you guys think of the movie. Let me know your opinion of the movies. And if you didn't like it, I'm interested in hearing what you guys didn't like. I didn't want to read any reviews in this movie. Uh, I want to just go into it open-minded. So anyway, though, I'll see you guys later. Bye.